Ben ain't playing today? That's fine. Next man up. Winning mentality. No excuses. A few moments later. Yeah, Rudolph ain't played in a little while. And yeah, the Steelers, you know, they're coming off a short week with that Monday night game. They're playing in a wintry mix. The news said it's poor air quality in Pittsburgh today, so that makes it hard not to suck. This week's episode of Pittsburgh Dad is brought to you by the law firm of Bordas and Bordas. Ben got COVID. Well, at least he lost his smell, because this team stinks. Our defense is treating these Lions running backs like they're Britney Spears. Let them run free. Packers have had the Lions in a conservatorship for years. They're the ones that tell the Lions what they can and can't do. They ain't ever getting out of that. Uh -uh, no scoring. They ain't allowed in the conservatorship. Look right here. Section 3, Article 12. No scoring. Here's the whole thing about Charlie Batch getting let go too soon. Thank you, Detroit. Holy jeez. There's 12 pages here about... Never even getting near a Super Bowl. You know, every damn week, I gotta hear about a Steelers opponent doing something for the very first time. Well, here's this guy's first touchdown. Here's another guy, his first ever fumble recovery. Here's a guy that never played the game of football, and the Steelers defense just hands him the rushing title. How are the Lions beating us? They are 0 and 8. I ain't seen a Lion kill someone like this since Scar chucked Mufasa down a cliff. Aw, oh, Mason, what are you doing bouncing passes to receivers? He's out there with a fishing pole and Andy Griffith just skipping rocks. Do do do. Do, 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 incomplete. Steelers, the only team I know, can take a pre-snap off sides and negate it with a penalty. They are literally paying for a free play. That's like paying for grocery store bags. I always just grab a big handful of them bags. Use them for cat litter, dog, tire in my head after this game. Now these announcers are always talking about Najee getting touches. Touches, touches is the key. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. It ain't anybody can just touch a football. That's the easy part. Touches. How's about touchdowns? There's Devin Bush. Magically reappears to make the interception disappear. Abra Kajagra. Jared Goff. He looked like if the piano fell on Ryan Gosling. Hey Goff, why the hell are your eyes so deep back there? He's what I tell you, he's the only quarterback in the league to see his own cerebellum. Deontay fumbled. I'm gonna tell you the problem is right now. The Steelers need to stop trying to make plays. When you get that ball, you shouldn't be thinking end zone. You should be thinking, holy hell, I need to get down and eat grass. No, 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 none of that juking. Setting. That's how champions are made. Hey, which one of you guys was using Eric Ebron's controller? Well, you hit jump and instead of hit and run. Hey, no, no, now we're just gonna go back to keeping it unplugged the entire game. Works better. A tie. A tie? A tie. A tie. A tie. Huh? Tie. I tell you, it's like the game never even happened. Leave it to the Steelers to figure out a way to go 8-8 eight and eight for a 17-game schedule. Add another 30 games, why don't you? They're going 8-8. Eight and eight. Three game season? 8-8. Eight and eight. A tie. No winner. That's like having Thanksgiving with no turkey. Christmas with no presents. Or the holidays without Linda in a drunken fight. Wouldn't feel like holidays, would it now? A tie is like kissing your sister. Aunt Linda, no thanks. All you be tasting is white claws and menthols. The Steelers took the longest and most annoying rat possible to get to an ending we could all have got to in five seconds. They're the common core math of the NFL. We got that stupid one at the end of the record. That's thrown off all the playoff math. Now I gotta have that Steve Kornacki drawing all over his big TV. Got these teams in the playoffs, these teams in the wild card, and these teams are in the hunt. And here are the Steelers on a whole nother TV under who the hell knows. The Lions come into Pittsburgh and steal a tie. That's Detroit, they, got, they gotta steal something. Hey, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down there, or the Steelers are gonna lose, and it'll be your fault. You just, just, just start hitting buttons, that's what my kids do, until they break everything.